Now, none of the state's facilities are allowing visitors just yet, which makes it tough, right? Because you want to just visit and see your loved ones and really give them a hug. But as 10 Tampa Bay's Aubrey Jackson shares with us, there's a facility that's made it happen thanks to some serious innovation. Families were so much like, oh, I just want to, I just want to touch you, mom. I just want to hug you. Those with relatives and loved ones and elderly assisting facilities haven't been able to physically share a touch in months in accordance to the CDC guidelines to curb the spread of the coronavirus. They don't really understand that they can't um, just touch their loved one or why do I have to be in a window? Is Why is she out there or why is he out there? For residents at Ivy Ridge, a specialized memory care community, they say physical interaction is key for resident success. That's why they came together to build the hug booth equipped for families to physically interact with low risk of spreading germs. And they have to wear gloves and the gloves go from the tip of your fingers to the top of your shoulders for each arm. The families have to wear a mask, the residents have to wear a mask. 10 people and more than 20 hours later, the hug booth stands tall and cost the team less than $200 to make. I actually saw um, a couple of people that had done it on um, Facebook. So we built our own version of we felt would be safe and secure. Complete with heavy duty plastic, tarp, gloves and wood. The hug booth is a great alternative for families in need, including Leslie, who hadn't hugged her own mother in months. We actually tested it out with my mom to make sure it was safe and secure. So I got the pleasure of being able to hug my own mom, which was amazing. So I couldn't wait for the families to be able to feel the same joy in my heart. 